What's happening, everyone? I hope you're all well. I have a very special guest to welcome onto the channel for you today. It is the one, the only Expressions. Expressions, thank you so much for coming on. Make sure that you subscribe to his channel. The link's in the description. How are you, mate? I'm very well, thanks, Rory. I'm not going to lie. How are you doing, mate? I'm good. Do you know what, X? I'm not that good. Off the back of what you got up to on the... In the, in the game midweek against Leicester, those two last minute goals, a historic moment for football that. Like, you know, that is the latest the game has ever been won. It was oh. huge. It was huge. Oh, listen, bruv. Listen, Stephen, fine wine, bruv. You get me? Stephen Berg, fine wine. Yeah. The flying Dutchman, bruv. Black Grealish, bruv. My G, you know. Take that 100 million uh, from, from Grealish and slap that on Steven Bergwin fam. You know them where they tell Jack Grealish to pull his socks up after Bergwin's <laughs> performance, yeah? Against Mo Leicester City. What a performance. The Foxes, listen, I'm telling you this right now, Rory, yeah? The Foxes in my garden make so much noise on a daily basis, blood. You see, after we put them in the spliff, I didn't hear no Foxes that night. All the Foxes, they, they went somewhere else, bro. They must have all been in Leicester. You know what I mean? <laughs> None of my black bags were getting ripped up or anything like that. Yeah, the Foxes were silenced and it was absolutely glorious. People may say, oh, Tottenham stole it, this, that and the other. But no, these men were battered like a sausage in a chip shop, bruv. Big Ben's chip shop in Halston Jubilee Clock, fam. These <laughs> men were battered. You get me? Sausage yeah. and battered all game. How they managed to be ahead of us, I'll never know. I'm telling you, we were peppering them up, Rory, bruv. Scotch bonnet, fam. I know you got them seasonings in your kitchen, blood. You know them way, or well, maybe not, but we move. I'm telling you, yeah. These men got peppered up, Leicester. Yeah. So for me, I'm just happy. I haven't felt like this in a while. All banter aside, all ego aside, I have not felt like this in a while being a Tottenham fan. And I feel like we've just been, oh, it's, it's not been good do, for do us know, lately. Do you know the it, moment, but... X? Do you know the moment I think really like typifies it for me and changes who Tottenham are? And it's very Antonio Conte. You know when you scored the equaliser, not the winner, the equaliser? Yep. Do, that was no the celebrations. End of the game. No celebrations. No celebrations. Get, you shouldn't be getting ran for the ball. It's unbelievable. Like, like they believe then in the 15 At seconds all, left. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's unit that like some things, you know, like when things happen in football and they'd be like, oh, um, he's not used to the Premier League or they're not used to the certain things like that. Listen, some things in football are universal, isn't it? Things like that is universal. You can't tell me, even if it was a man's first goal, yeah, and it's two two, yeah. Bergwin ran and grabbed the ball. I love the way he literally, no celebration, ran, grabbed the ball, and we were all in position to go for the third goal. We had no right. We The ref, the ref could have blown the whistle yeah. as soon as we scored that, you know. Yeah. But we were like, nah, we're not, we're, we're not, we're not going to uh, stop playing until we hear that whistle. And then we got the third, we got the third goal. I couldn't believe it, fam. Free man like Morgan, bro. I'm I, telling you, bro. I couldn't believe this, it. I saw, I saw you doing the Caterpillar celebrating. <laughs> bruv, I tried to do the Scotty. You get me, bruv? W-O-R-M. The worm, fam. I tried to do the worm. People thought I was all doing press-ups in a cell and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Oh, so it's an amazing moment. And look, do you know what? Obviously, I've experienced Antonio Conte. I hold him in such high regard. I think he's an elite-level manager. I think he's brilliant. And I'm so upset that he's at Tottenham. Is this mm. Antonio Conte? Are you, are you just in love? Let me just tell you this, bro, yeah? Antonio, we, he needs support. He needs, listen, he's, um, I always used to say, yeah, Poch could turn water into wine, innit? He made Kyle Norton look like a decent player, fam. You know what I mean? You probably don't even know who Kyle Norton is. I'm, I'm telling you. Good, yeah. So one one of them things where Pochettino, like, he did a lot. But Daniel Levy's that guy, like, when you see, the thing that worries me is that when he sees Conte doing well with the squad that we've got, will he actually back him in January? If we don't get players, Rory, yeah, we're not making this top four. We're not winning no FA Cup and it's all going to fall down, fam. Kanye West, fam, it's going to all fall down towards the end of the season. We need reinforcements. That's what we need. So if Levy, Enoch and them back um, Antonio Conte, the Italian stallion, then I'm telling you, like, we could ride it to the wheels fall off, blood. Because if we actually win our games in hands, we're above you, blood. Know. You know them way right there. I know. I'm really worried about it. This, this What's is going the first on? Time. You know what? I, I can't run my mouth about Chelsea. I, I'll put it out there. I, I've said it in my last video. Every season, I'm telling you, it's just literally death, taxes, and getting put in a spliff by Chelsea, blood. <laughs> Big man thing. Home and away, fam. You know what I mean? Consta reach day. Home and away. <laughs> Channel 4, blood. Alf Stewart, blood. All of them, man, fam. Surfboards. Get your surfboards out. I'm telling you, yeah. Home and away, like you lot are undefeated at our ground, innit? I'd yeah. be an idiot coming on here on any sort of form and saying we're going to turn over Chelsea because it seems like when we play Chelsea, I don't know, man. Like, mm. it's, it's, you up. know what? Mm. This is this is about the only time where, don't get me wrong, I've always said that I despise Arsenal more than Chelsea and I always will, innit? But when you 
completely. When you're coming into season after season, you just keep losing, blood. It's going to take its toll on you, fam. I swear down. Bro, I don't like you, man, blood. Uh, no. It's nearing up, blood. It's nearing up, fam. Uh. I do not like Chelsea, fam. Rudiger celebrating in man's face. Ooh, <laughs> all, I hate it, blood. It really winds me up, blood. Let me sing them, singing them, the fans singing all these Alonzo songs, and I'm there laughing. You're having the time of my life, and then he scores rockets, blood. I see it every time. I've had what do you think this bro. time, though? Like, you know, you know, obviously, we've played a lot, we've played each other a lot, uh, this season already. We played each other three bro, times. You Chelsea put Nuno in a spliff, put mm. Nuno in a spliff, and you put Antonio Conte in, 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 a, in, a, in a flip, a blunt over two legs, bruv. But the thing is, yeah, under the Antonio Conte game, we were literally toothless. Um, we never had our strongest squad out by a long shot but there was enough there to do more than we did do you know what i'm saying mm. so for me like this game means everything fam I'm, I'm starting to i'm starting to go into seasons and look at the stanford bridge game against chelsea um just like i look at the emirates game against arsenal in it because mm. we don't get wins there do you know what i'm saying like yeah. these are the stadiums that i want to win you know what i mean fam i don't want to lose at home but i want to yeah. win well, do you know you I know your record at stanford bridge win. What hurts me, blood, is that I see other teams get wins. I'm not not particularly Chelsea, but mm. I see other teams get win at the Emirates, get win at the. I'm like, why can't we do it? It's like these men just turn up for us. Like yeah. they said, you know what, blood, we are not losing to Tottenham, blood. But it's you a historic I mean? thing. Do you know what? You know when Alex one. Ferguson used to come in and be like, oh, it's only Tottenham, blood. Yeah. Like these things are real, fam. Like, and I know it's Tottenham. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. and I know it, bruv. I'm not, yeah. I'm not oblivious to these things in it, but. Something's got these things got to change in it. Do you like, think you'll do it? Antonio do you think you'll win it this? Do you, do you think you're going to win on the weekend? Win? Mm. No. I, really? I think we can get a draw. I think we can win, but I don't think we're going to win. Don't get me wrong. I, like I said, I've seen us beat Chelsea once in my lifetime, and I was there. The Delhi Ali I mean? one was that Delhi Ali? Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Uh, Ericsson, Christian Ali, Ericsson I was pinged there. it. Yeah, legit. Yeah. I was there at that game. Yeah, like, and ever since I've gone back to Stamford Bridge, yeah. I've left teary eyed like Missy Elliott. Fam. You know that was Pretty the first much. time. That was the first time that you'd won at Stamford Bridge for 27 years. The lot, the winner prior to that was Gary Lineker. So this is something that's gone on for years. Chelsea have always had the beat in the Tottenham, even when Chelsea weren't very good, and Tottenham were good. Yeah. Tottenham were winning yeah, cups and that, and Chelsea would always, always turn Tottenham over. But do you know what, mate? Honestly, this is the most. I've always thought Chelsea are going to beat Tottenham, even when we've lost. Mm. Like, I remember going to Tottenham. Uh, maybe 09 Luka Modric scored a winner but I went into that game thinking that Chelsea were going to win I remember Aaron Lennon scoring I went into that mm. game thinking Chelsea are going to win this is the mm. first time in years X where mm. I'm kind of going I don't know I'm not I'm not confident going into this one I, I'm scared of Conte Harry Kane last time form, we beat you there it was Conte that was in charge for you yeah it? yeah it was Conte but Harry Kane's form I thought you know there were moments for Harry Kane you know the other day everyone's yeah. going to focus on his goal right the way he sat so in two down but that's yep. not the that's not the bit that nope. scares me. It's the through ball, isn't it? Yep, yep, fam. He's the touch is back, the vision's back. You know what I mean? The passion's back. I'm telling you, Harry Claus City, you know the rest. He is back, Rory, fam. You know that, but can we win? You know what, Rory? Yes, we can, blood. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, fam, I'm not going to come up here and lose my mind. You know, them way there. I need Charles Xavier to bring it back with Cerebro. I'm not going to be doing that. But I'll tell you this, yeah. We got a chance. Yeah, forget the forget the history. You know them way there, fam. I want to see. I want to live in the moment like Jeff Hardy, fam. I'm telling you, bruv. Live for the moment like Eminem, fam. Mamma mio. Live for the moment. Sing for the mio. All of that. Sing for it. We're going to do it all, blood. I'm telling you, fam. I want the, the way fans to be up for it, bro. And I want a result. All I want is a result, Rory, yeah? A draw, 100%, fam. I'll take that right now. If we get a win... Rory, if we get a win, you're going to need to block me. I'm telling you this right now. <laughs> Consider if it done, we mate. we get a win, Rory, if we get a win, Chelsea fans, who else, blood? You get me? The Ethiopian Carlton Banks, blood. You know them way there. Uh, uh, Cadbury's Roses, fam. I'm telling you, <laughs> bruv. Uh, TJ Henderson. All you Chelsea fans, blood, that be on my neck, fam. On my neck, blood. You don't see a chain? You don't <laughs> see no chain, blood. Just hella Chelsea fans on my neck every time we lose. Watch. Watch. Bigger, you know, on a bigger picture, right? The bigger picture, mm. top four. That so so our game today, our, our game yeah. coming up on the weekend, it's about yeah. the game, it's about the three points. But the point, it's yep. local pride, but it's Champions League football. I'm gonna be real, Rory. Do you yeah? think you can do it? My, I'm gonna be real, Rory. So my top four is City, Liverpool, Chelsea third, and Tottenham fourth. In it, I believe we can do it. In it, I believe if you. we beat you at Stamford Bridge, we're making top four. No one can't tell me otherwise, fam. 
I, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you. I think Conte has it in him. And you're right, Levy needs to back him. Joe Lewis, Levy, they need to mm-hmm. now realise that they have got an elite level manager. For the first time in decades, they have an elite level manager. So they've got to back him. X, before I let you go, a prediction. You ain't spoke nothing about your team. What about Robbie Laukaku, fam? Where's he gone? <laughs> Where uh, is he, fam? Nah, He's filming best of, enemies, best of Enemies with me on a weekly basis, fam. Them man there are in the booth, blood. Do you get me? I can't Feeling cope. like with Tyrese, that. fam. I can't cope, ex. Honestly, I can't cope. With, with regards to Lukaku, the level of disrespect aimed at <laughs> Chelsea fans, aimed at the board who pays wages, aimed at his teammates, it was just, it's just unforgivable. And combine them that man with there the are that twerking. Not... Them man there are twerking for, for the Italians, fam. You know what I mean? Just not you get good. me? He's just not, a, he's not a good enough player either. You know, you know, if he was, if he was doing the kind of job that Didier Drogba did, you would mm. potentially swallow it and just go, look, he doesn't love the club. That's fine. But he's doing a great job. Bro, I heard he may play for Italy in the World Cup, fam. <laughs> After he, all of that twerking that he did for Inter Milan, like, I mean, no, I'm being him. serious. He loves him, doesn't he? Yeah, he, I mean, he doesn't want to play for Chelsea. His heart doesn't. I think he's just one of those characters, X, though. That's a bit of a narcissist. I think mm. he only finds happiness in like self gratification. He isn't one for the team. He isn't one for team accomplishments. It's about what, himself. like CR7, yeah. He's just about himself, yeah. So, so <laughs> I, I want think, like CR7, yeah. Uh, mate, that I sounds wish he was a bit like, more like CR7. I, w- I wish he was like <laughs> CR7. But look, we've got we've got issues of our own. But I like to have these. Obviously, people who watch my channel regularly, they know what I feel about Chelsea. They know how I feel the club's right being run. But it's always great mm. to hear from you and hear your thoughts on Tottenham. So, what do you reckon? Cards on the table, X. What's the score going to be on the weekend? All right. RIP, I'm going for a Desmond 2 2, blood. There we go. A draw wouldn't be a draw wouldn't be the end of the world, to be honest. For, for I'm going 2 2. You know what? I actually think, yeah. I actually think we will play well. I think we may even, it's a thing where it may be 2 1 and then we will lose it in the last minute or something like that. Like, I'm not talking with chess. Like, anyone with common sense can't talk with chess because on form, like, I always go in with my heart on four minutes, but the history speaks for itself, innit? Like, I'm just hoping that Antonio Conte can instill, like, a mentality there. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that Dai is back, Christian Romaldini's back. I'm hoping we've got a few, few more players back. But, yeah, nah. Um, it's going to be class, man. It's going to be class. Yeah, it's going to be a good game. I'm going to Chelsea. Chelsea have won three times already this season. So, I'm... I know, Chelsea fam. We got that Hunter Hurst Helmsley, fam. We got the Triple H, bro. <laughs> Right. You get me. I'm going to go a tight, tight Chelsea win. I'm going for. But X, it's always yeah. a joy to have you on, man. Thank you so much for finding the time. Make sure that you subscribe to Expressions Channel. The link's in the description and in the title. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like, and I'll see you all very soon. Nice one. Come on, G.